Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Today I have a brand new weekly grocery haul to share with you. Today I actually mixed it up and went to Kroger. I used to go to Kroger all the time when we lived back in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Recently, now that we've moved to Texas, I usually do most of my shopping at HEB and Costco, and I do need a new Costco haul. That's gonna be coming up. I'll make sure to film and share that one with you guys once we go. I think we're gonna go next weekend. Um, but we are in between Costco runs. I am like, out of everything in our fridge, freezer, and pantry. It's been a really crazy couple of weeks. I haven't been able to get over to the grocery store, so we've kind of gone through a lot of stuff, but with it being crazy, I also just like have not had the mental state to figure out like two weeks worth of groceries, huge haul. So this is just a weekly grocery haul because that's all I had the capacity to was to figure out was for one week. So I popped over into Kroger after I dropped Lila off at school first thing this morning. So let's do a rundown of the grocery haul. And like I've been doing in the last few grocery haul videos, I'm gonna share my weekly meal plan, including WW points for you guys at the end of the video. We still had a little bit of fruit and veggies left in the fridge um, from my quick run last week. I still have some apples. I still have some baby carrots and fresh broccoli, but here's what I got to kind of round out for this week. I have some seedless red grapes. These were on a pretty good sale at Kroger today. These raspberries were on a great sale. They were not on my list, but they were only like $1.65, I think, for the carton. My husband requested some of these mandarin oranges this week. I have a large bag of carrots, even though we have some baby carrots in the fridge. I always think these big whole carrots taste better. It does take the work of peeling them and chopping them and all that but I'm also gonna be doing some meal prep this week, so I'll just add that to the list for meal prep. I have a bunch of green onions, and I made sure to get ones that have the little roots at the bottom, because I think if you guys have seen my other meal prep videos, when I buy green onions, these will last me a number of weeks, if not longer, if you take care of them, and you can drop them into a little cup or jar with a little bit of water covering the roots, and these will keep growing. Even after you trim them and use them, new ones will sprout out of these same ones if you have roots left on the bottom. I have one English cucumber that's gonna be with a pasta salad I'm doing this week for meal prep. Um, along with that, some tricolor bell peppers and a green bell pepper. I have a red onion and a sweet yellow onion. This bag got kind of ripped because Nora was my helper at the store and she wanted to hold potatoes. So she held the potato bag. Look at how big these russet potatoes are. These are absolutely massive. We are going to do some baked potatoes one night for dinner this week, like loaded baked potatoes. So I only bought two because I feel like we'll share these between the four of us. It's my husband and I are two adults and then we have a six-year-old and an almost two-year-old. So they don't need <laughs> a potato that size for dinner so and we'll do like veggies and other kinds of stuff on the side too that night i did grab one um bakery bread i keep saying i'm going to try making sandwich bread if you guys follow along with me i make tons of my own bread products at home i'm a sourdough baker but for some reason i still haven't tried making like a basic soft white or honey sandwich bread and i really need to try it i don't know why i keep being intimidated by it it's like the one thing that i haven't been doing but we're gonna try in the meal prep this week i'm good i'm putting it out here on this video to make myself do it we're gonna try a sandwich bread recipe at home this week during meal prep i also got some garlic hummus my kids love hummus i swear it's one of their main sources of protein i did purchase some Chinese lo mein noodles. I am gonna make some stir fry lo mein with chicken as a dinner one night this week. All the condiments. I feel like we ran out of everything all at once this time. So I have some more tomato ketchup. I did pick up a jar of pasta sauce. This is just a marinara. Normally I make my own with just some tomato sauce in a can, adding my own herbs and salt and stuff. But I always like to have like one of these in my pantry for like those super quick weekday nights where I just need to get my kids fed and it's like, boom, pasta, done. Here's a sauce, let's boil some pasta easy peasy dinner. So I don't necessarily have a specific recipe in mind for this week that I'm using this. It's just kind of to be a pantry staple. Um, anyway, I have some Frank's red hot sauce. I'm going to use that in some Buffalo blue salads this week for dinner for Josh and I, some low sodium soy sauce, as well as some teriyaki sauce. For canned items, I like to always have at least two cans of black beans and two cans of corn in my pantry. I also picked up one can of cream style corn because one of these plus one of these and a few other ingredients and some Jiffy cornbread mix make a delicious cornbread or corn pudding and I'll use that um, on one of our weeknight meals as a side dish. I also picked up some jumbo pitted ripe olives. I am using this both in the pasta salad meal prep I'm doing this week and I have made some sour dough 
bagels as a part of my meal prep for the week and I'm gonna be making a homemade veggie cream cheese. Oh, it's so good. Chunky vegetables mixed with that delicious cream cheese on top of a homemade sourdough bagel. There's like nothing better, so good. Um, I also have some buttermilk blue, blue cheese crumbles. That's for that buffalo blue salad we're doing. Lunch meat, I have some salami, which my kids like to eat salami, cheese, and crackers, like a DIY Lunchable um, for lunches or to bring to school. I also am gonna use some of this in the pasta salad. We're doing an Italian style pasta salad this week. I have some turkey breast for lunch meat sandwiches. And for my little one, she likes just having pieces of turkey and cheese with crackers and fruit and stuff for lunch a lot. And then I still had some provolone cheese in the fridge um, from over the weekend, but I also picked up a package of Swiss cheese. I got a brick of extra sharp cheddar cheese as well as a brick of part skim mozzarella. We'll use those for some of the recipes this week. And then a six pack of Danimal smoothies. My girls call these sippy yogurts. And again, these are just like kind of for on the side with their picky plate lunches. Since I bought sandwich stuff, I also picked up, um, these are some classic wavy original potato chips and then some sweet barbecue potato chips. I don't get chips all the time, but these were on sale this week. It seemed like a good deal and it's nice to mix it up and just have some regular chips on the side with a lunch sandwich every now and then. I have some 2% milk. Nora is officially just about two years old and we've switched her from whole milk to two percent it's so nice not to have to buy like seven kinds of milk every week i also grabbed some heavy whipping cream to have in the fridge i don't actually have a specific use in mind for that that's just like one of those staples i like having in my refrigerator the one thing about switching back to kroger after i've been shopping at heb a lot was a little bit of disappointment in the meat section i just found they had way fewer options and it was way more expensive so i only bought a large family pack of boneless, skinless chicken breast. This is primarily what I need for my recipes. This week, it is kind of like a chicken week, but I am leaving a space on the weekend when Josh is home. He has a couple later nights working this week, so he's not gonna be home for dinner every single night. So over the weekend, once he's home, we'll do maybe like steak or some sort of beef, and I'll just run out separately to HEB to pick that up for that night. And then I have some of these Tyson air fried crispy chicken nuggets. Um, we're normally a bear chicken nuggets family, but again, we need to get back to Costco. And I just, every time I look at the bear chicken nuggets in a regular grocery store, the price compared to the amount that you get and the like pound or ounceage on the bag just seems so silly compared to buying it at Costco. So I don't know why I can't ever bring myself to buy it in a regular grocery store anymore. I'll just wait till we go to Costco to restock on a big bag of those. And these were fine. These ones were on sale today. I think it was only like maybe $8 for this size bag of the air fried chicken nuggets um, but we're gonna use these on the buffalo blue salads as the protein for josh and i's salad night and then i also did get some tater round fridge freezer staple so just like some tater tots we like these on the side like with dinner if we're using chicken nuggets or i also like using these in the morning for breakfast I'll use these as like a faux hash brown along with some chicken sausage and eggs and cheese and make myself a little breakfast bowl. Not one, but two packages of frozen broccoli florets. I did get some more bread flour. Again, I'm gonna be making some sourdough bagels this week. I will probably also have to make another just regular sourdough bread. We usually make one of those every week. Sometimes I do a flavored one, sometimes it's just regular. So I'm not sure which I'll do yet, but if you're interested in my sourdough bread recipe, that was my last video out. So I will link that one in the icon above and then finally the weather's warming up we've had a couple days where it's actually reached 80 degrees here in Houston and uh, of course my kids can't say no to a good ice pop so we love having these to bring outside for a fun little warm weather snack while we're running around playing in the backyard another option for a sweet treat that I like to have in the freezer is actually when I make cookies I take the dough I put it into balls all measured out and I freeze them flat on a sheet pan then once they're frozen I pop them into a gallon size Ziploc bag then when we want cookies, I just take out however many I need to bake. Whether Josh and I are sitting down watching a movie and we just want a warm homemade cookie, I'll put two of these on a sheet pan and bake them off. Maybe I'm making a set for the whole family, so I'll pop four in the oven. But we had some like Easter candy M&Ms specifically left over. And one of the great ways I feel like to use up that so it's not just sitting in my pantry for forever is I'll pop them into cookies. So we made some chocolate chip M&M cookies. These 
are like the best recipe. Um, I'll link it in the description box below. But anyway, I made a batch. I froze the cookie dough into balls and I just keep them stored in the freezer. That way it's not like out and tempting for me to go or like reach into that cookie jar for cookies all the time. I actually have to bake them. All right guys, well that was my Kroger haul. I spent right around $150 and that was with using my Kroger card and it took like around $23 worth of savings off. So I wish we had a little bit more to show for that, but welcome to today's world of groceries. Anyway, here is the meal plan for the week. So here is this week's weekly meal plan. So for breakfast, I'm doing homemade sourdough bagels with veggie cream cheese. And I'm also meal prepping a big sheet pan breakfast pizza. Both of those items are gonna be in my upcoming meal prep video. For quick ideas for breakfast for the kids, I always have staples like oatmeal, yogurt and fruit, and we have some cereal home on occasion too. For lunch ideas, we bought sandwich supplies, so turkey sandwiches with fruit, maybe some chips occasionally on the side, and I'm meal prepping Italian pasta salad. That's gonna be a great one to have on hand with Josh's busy work schedule this week. I will meal prep it and be able to eat it for lunch myself, but he'll be able to bring that as a dinner as well to work. For snack ideas, we have lots of raw veggies with hummus on hand. I also have a batch of Zero Point Ranch that I've made up. I always have Premier Protein Shakes on hand. That's something I usually get at Costco though by like the case so I still have some of those left in my pantry right now I'm drinking the cafe latte versions usually as a morning snack and then another meal prep item on the list is sourdough cheese crackers so these are kind of going to be like your cheese it or your goldfish option but I'm making mine homemade using my sourdough starter discard so lots of meal prep items I'm doing for breakfast and lunch this week so make sure you don't miss out on that video it should be coming up next on my channel for dinners this week, Monday night is going to be a chicken lo mein stir fry. So I'll be using some of the boneless, skinless chicken breast, onions, garlic, and some broccoli. The teriyaki sauce I picked up along with the cooked lo mein stir fry noodles. Super simple and delicious every time. We've really been into stir fries lately, either with rice or lo mein noodles as a base. Tuesday, we have our loaded baked potato night. Wednesday, we're going to do what Lila, my older daughter, has now called salad bar night. Josh and I are going to do buffalo blue style salads, which is going to be chicken nuggets for everyone's protein. Josh and I are going to use some of that Frank's hot sauce on ours, along with the blue cheese crumbles, black beans, corn, onion, and for the dressing will be zero point ranch. The girls also love salad night, so I'm going to set up everything like a salad bar and they can pick out what toppings they want on theirs. Normally they do like romaine lettuce for their base, cheddar cheese, shredded carrots, their chicken nuggets for their protein, and then ranch dressing as well. Thursday, I have slated as a leftover night. I always try to put like a leftover or easy from the pantry freezer kind of night in our week. Friday is family pizza night. We are going to do our own homemade pizza crust using two ingredient dough. My version, I like to just do equal parts, like one cup of plain nonfat Greek yogurt to one cup of self-rising flour. We just mix that together, press it out on top of a piece of parchment paper on a sheet pan. I like to go ahead and like pre-bake mine for about 10 minutes and then we add on our sauce, cheese, and toppings. The girls love helping me dinner as a family together. Usually we'll follow it up with family movie night. It's a fun night for everyone. Saturday evening, we're going to do burgers, enjoy some of this nice weather we're having. Maybe we'll eat outside. And then Sunday, one of our new family fave rotational meals is actually meatball sliders. So I make some homemade turkey meatballs and marinara sauce. I cut up hot dog buns into two or three equal parts and we pop one meatball on each portion of the bun and you got little slider rolls. You can also use Hawaiian rolls, but I think this meal came together for us because I was looking for a way to use up some extra hot dog buns. This was something we kind of threw together, but it was something that stuck and the kids really liked it. We're going to serve it with a side of steamed broccoli. I'm trying to probably think of one more item I want to put into my meal prep that would be a good like little sweet snack or dessert, but a really great low point healthy option. So I'm gonna think on that and I'll probably share it with you guys in the meal prep video. So there you go, come back for our surprise dessert recipe. Well, thanks for checking out my weekly grocery haul from Kroger and our weekly meal plan. Let me know what's on your menu this week in the comments below. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss out on my next video. Those sourdough bagel recipe, that video is coming up very soon. I've had lots of requests for it. So don't forget to subscribe and hit your notification bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye. bye.